a smart, really smart dash cam to improve safety for any vehicle. That's our text to nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Next Base has been a global leader in dash cam technology, and we're happy to have with us VP of Marketing, Jeff Chu. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. Well, what we're talking about today is a brand new model coming out later this year. But first, let's tell folks a little background about Next Base. You've really been out there when it comes to this technology. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've been blessed enough to kind of be the pioneers of the category, uh, specifically kind of leading the charge overseas. And, uh, you know, we're a UK based company. So um, really had the chance to kind of develop the category out there in the UK, develop in the EU and really kind of um, grow the category of the last 10 years. And eventually we brought it over to the US, uh, North America back in 2019. And it's been really great since then. Well, you've got a new model coming out called the Next Base IQ. A very different type of, of dash cam that you've been working on there, I think for a couple of years now. Yeah, uh, you're right. We've actually been developing this for a few years now and uh, we're excited to be able to announce this um, at CES of this year in 2022. Um, the IQ is uh, what we're calling the first truly smart, uh, smart dash cam uh, powered through AI spatial awareness and uh, driver safety, um, ADAS style, um, uh, features and technology. And what's really impressive is that you really get all the award-winning HD uh, dash camera functionality that you got from our original products from the 622, or I'm sorry, from the Series 2 product line. But layering on top of that, you're, we're putting AI, we're putting spatial awareness, proximity sensing, and we're layering the, uh, the ADAS uh, recognition to really make this thing incredibly dynamic and I forgot to mention one of the most important parts is the um, the cellular data connection. So now it's constantly pull, pushing into the cloud. It's talking to uh, your device. It's really being as dynamic as you would expect uh, your phone to be, or you know, even more dynamic than you would expect a smart home security would be as well. So previously, mo the models that would that would pair with a phone, this has its own connection built in. Yep. So it has an independent connection built in, um, and it will uh, it will uh, it will still connect to your phone as you know as just like a um, a computer would or whatever it may be. But it's uh, it's independently connected to a cellular cellular uh, uh, connection, so it can push into the cloud, save the footage. Uh, it'll also have local storage as well, so that it can have uh, a a cache of, of memory, so that it can. Uh, lock things as needed, but as needed as well. During an incident, it will push to the cloud as soon as something is locked. So you'll be able to go back in time and see it. And if something wasn't uh, noticed immediately, you go back in time to the, uh, the local storage, pull it what you need, add it to the cloud, or with the cloud and the uh, automatic lock, it will also push immediately to the cloud. So you have that access to that Im immediate data. Well, let's talk about some of the features. Um, say I'm a, I'm a driver. Um, what is this going to do for me that uh, a typical dash cam wouldn't do now, which would just be really recording video? Yeah, yeah. So a normal dash cam, to step it back a little bit, a normal dash cam is typically just there to record video. And what Next Space has really been great about doing is really integrating a, a passive technology, uh, a dash cam that usually typically just sits in the window uh, and just records, right? Um, and we're trying to layer as much dynamic um, interface as possible to keep the road safer, keep you safer, make it easier, um, and whatever it may be to be, to be more than just a device in the window. So uh, layered on top of what we have typically in our dash cams, which is things like emergency SOS, which will automatically detect if you've uh, been in an accident, a significant accident, and it'll send um, 911 services to your exact location uh, with when, when doing so, it'll send it without human intervention, getting the 911 services to you faster, saving uh, seconds, if not minutes of uh, dispatch time within the golden hour so to save your life. Um, and when doing so, they would arrive knowing what your car looks like, what your license plate is, what your name is, and blood type allergies, anything that could save your life um, if you're willing, if you provide that information uh, in the app setup. Uh, we also have parking mode. Uh, but the thing with the IQ uh, is, is with that layered technology of 
AI, cellular d- data, um, spatial awareness, we're able to get incredibly precise on reducing false positives. So uh, we're not the first dash camera to have uh, a cellular connection, but with this layering of smart technology and AI, we're able to be ex- incredibly more uh, precise. For example, uh, with parking mode, you know, a house with with uh, similar technology, you know, a lot of ring doorbells and uh, uh, Arlo, you know, smart home security. They do a great job at securing your perimeter around your place. You can set a a, a, a digital geofence of secure area that you would want, uh, which is easy because the house is is, is uh, steady. It's in one spot. A car, you're always moving. The environments are always changing, and uh, you're going to see a lot more action happening around your car. Um, you know, not very many people typically will be walking up to your doorstep of your house, but in a parking lot. You got cars, you got shopping carts, you got people, you got animals, you got everything uh, rolling by you. And the last thing that you want is a piece of technology that really is um, overstimulated with alerts. So the last thing you want is your phone to be blown up with alert, alert, alert anytime something walks by your car. So what we've been able to do with all the smart technology is really layer on, is this a false positive? Is this a false positive? Is there a threat uh, through the different layering of uh, with our AI, we're able to detect, is that a car? Is that a person? Is that a, a, an animal or a bike? And we're able to detect, is this becoming a threat, proximity? Um, and then finally, if it becomes significant enough, then we'll alert you and give you a push notification to your phone so you can access uh, what is happening live uh, around your car and therefore preventing whatever may be happening, whether it's a potential break-in, loitering, or vandalism, um, and you can really take action and or have evidence if something does happen. And uh, that and that's just when your car is parked. Um, obviously when the car is moving, which is most of the, uh, often a lot of the times when you're in the car, um, that AI layered on top uh, is significant because not only are we able to track, is there a bike next to you in the lane? Is there a car, motorcycle, uh, a pedestrian crossing the street? We're also able to measure from a, a, a witness standpoint measure, this is how fast this car is going. This is how fast this car is going, coming across in the intersection. And by having this data and information, we're able to virtually recreate a, um, a scenario of you know, what did happen if you did get in an accident. We can do four incident reports um, and, uh, and really be a lot more precise in, in recreating uh, the next level of dash cam security. Are you also going to be alerting me to situations so that I, as a driver, would be able to avoid a collision or? Yeah, 100%. So uh, with, the, with the layering of uh, smart technology of the AI and the spatial awareness and everything, um, whether it's braking coming up to a car faster than you probably should be, we are able to monitor that your car is, in, is coming to a potential impact. We can alert you. Um, whether it is... Um, even if you're drowsy and you're falling asleep, if you choose to use this feature, uh, it can alert you that you're distracted or you are uh, looking at your phone, your eyes are closing. We're, kind of, we're able to set these algorithms or be really smart and precise on making sure that everybody is safe, whether it's inside the car or outside in your surroundings with this, with this uh, AI. So the windshield unit has, has two cameras built into it. Tell us about that. So this is the front camera, and it mounts to the uh, mounts to the front windshield. Uh, and we've actually tested this over in uh, in a hundred cars to make sure what is the the, the right ID for this uh, for this dash cam. And you'll notice, compared to most typical dash cams, this is a different design than what you've seen in uh, many typical dash cams on the market. And like I said, our design team, everything we do, we build from the ground up whether it's the chipset, whether it's the lens, uh, how, we, how we formulate the lens, uh, lens housing and lenses to the individual uh, ID structure of the, of the camera itself. So there is a front unit that shoots out the front window. And the way that we designed it is um, to have a rear camera in the back, which is a cabin view camera, for lack of a better example, like a, someone, something of you that you'd find in like an Uber or uh, you know, a mom or dad's car when you're seeing what's happening inside of the car with your passengers. Um, and what's great about this is you know, this new design, we've designed it so that it's compact 
and still able to get the best point of view vantage point from the car. So from our opinion, the uh, the best vantage point is from the top down, just like most, you know, uh, most vantage points you want to see from the top down versus bot, uh, kind of low on the horizon. So this allows you to get what's happening in front of your car, around the car, and then from the uh, from the uh, cabin cam view, it's actually designed so that when you, if this is my rear view mirror here in my phone, pretend this is my rear view mirror I'm driving, it would be mounted like so. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this on the camera. How do you, there we go. It will be mounted like so, so that there's a peekaboo of our cabin camera shooting into the cam and see, or into the cabin, seeing what's happening at a 180 degree viewing angle. So you can see inside the camera or inside the car and outside the side windows um, uh, and uh, protecting you from all angles. And the reason why I mentioned 180 degree in the cabin cam um, is because a lot of incidents, all the you know fun things happen inside the car or incidents happen when you're with your passengers inside the car, for example, if you're uh, a rideshare driver. But as we know, uh, there's been a lot of incidents with uh, road rage and uh, you know police uh, interaction or authority authoritative interaction rather, um, where things don't necessarily go uh, as you hope, I guess. And you just want to have that extra layer of security. So we have a we have a mode called witness mode, and with witness mode, we are able to voice activate. If you see someone driving aggressively towards you, or you might be getting pulled over and you want that extra layer of security, uh, you can say, activate witness mode. Um, it will automatically activate witness mode without any touching of the, of the, of the dash cam. And what's great about that is because, of course, if you are getting pulled over, the last thing that you want to be doing is having your hands move around and you move around in the car. Um, you know, you want your hands on the wheel, eyes in front of the car, in the road, and uh, making sure that, you know, you're posing the least amount of threat to the situation. So activate witness mode, it starts recording. It will start recording for 30 minutes um, and then we'll continue if you activate again, but it will activate and start recording the whole cabin, like I said, 180 degrees. So if someone comes up to your side window and uh, there is a, uh, a situation, it will record the whole thing, save it and push it into the cloud. What's important about it is, is with, um, you know, Recording uh, what's happening inside the car is not necessarily new, but what's significant here is that um, when you activate witness mode, it will also push a notification to an emergency contact or potentially a group of emergency contacts. And then you'll get a notification on your phone saying, hey, um, your, your friend or whoever it is has activated witness mode. You can, you can open up the notification and then live view exactly what's happening in the, in the situation. So, for example, if I got pulled over and uh, I was getting roughed up for whatever reason, then my emergency contact, say my wife, would be able to uh, see that I needed help, either notify dispatch that I need help or that uh, they, they could possibly come and help support whatever the situation may be uh, and or have a witness, uh, um, a recorded witness of the situation. And that in that camera in the cabin, could it also detect if there was some kind of health emergency involving the driver? Um, health emergency in what way do you mean? Well, if a, like, if a like driver a were somebody slumped over or something along those lines. Uh, you know what? The great thing about this tech, this uh, device is while it is a piece of hardware, it's very much of a live dynamic software. So as driving behavior improves or changes as uh, the needs of the driver changes and as uh, technology adjusts, we are able to push live updates to this product, uh, just like you would a phone or um, any smart device. Uh, not any smart device, because not all devices are that smart. That smart. It's kind of a, a broad word, smart. Um, but this, you can truly push uh, updates so that say that there become, we figure out an algorithm. Uh, I'm not in the tech team, so maybe we have that algorithm already, but uh, say that there is an algorithm to identify something over, then we can do a live Which update. Which would be similar push. to falling asleep or, or something yes. along those lines. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. This does uh, detect eye movement. So if you are drowsy, your eyes are falling asleep, then yes, it will notify you and, and definitely um, send an alert or make a notification alert that says, hey, you know, beep, 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 wake up. Um, but to my point, 
we can push software updates if something, a behavior or technology changes, and we can make this thing incredibly dynamic as you grow and as the world evolves. Sounds very exciting. So tell us when people will be able to get their hands on it. I understand pricing has not been firmed up yet. Yeah, so uh, we are looking for a fall of 2022 launch. Um, no firm uh, dates or announcements on uh, on uh, price, but we will definitely start announcing that as we get closer. Um, and again, we will have uh, a, a main camera. We'll have a rear camera as well. So it's actually a three-channel uh, system. So you'll have the front camera, the cabin camera, and out the back window. So Practically, we call it a 450 degree uh, viewing uh, security angle, just because you're getting uh, practically around all the way around the car and inside 180 degrees of the car. Um, these two devices will be available closer to the end of the year, and we'll actually have a really nice uh, opportunity for people to get into this product at multiple variations so that we all have a, a top of the line, and then we'll have a, um, an ent a more entry level uh, for people who uh, see the value, but maybe have a, a, a different uh, budget in mind. Terrific. For more information, where can people go? For more information, they can go to uh, nextspace.com and uh, sign up for our, not our email list there. And we can definitely send you guys notifications on what's going, what's going down and when things are happening. And uh, also follow us on uh, next space or at next space on Instagram and next at Nextspace dash cams on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. Terrific. Again, nextbase.com is the website. Jeff Chute, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>